I think the idea, uh, well, it's sort of a little bit of an accident in the sense that we wanted to approach the Greatest Hits album this way. We wanted to um, create an album where I would participate in the mastering, go to the original masters and give the people the absolute original stuff with, with the artist's participation. Uh, and of course, you know, traditionally there's always a song or two, a new song or two on a Greatest Hits album. So that's where the education process really began. And uh, once it did bega uh, begin, and once I did my, my wheels or tires did hit the pavement, uh, you know, people over at Universal saying, well, you know, let's add this song. Well, how about this song? And we kept adding and we kept adding. And then we, we kind of stumbled upon this idea that it would be a really good idea to give people equal measure of the old as the new. To, I guess that's why I call the album These Are The Days, too, because I, you know, I'm just not one who likes to, to live off old stuff, but I don't negate it either. You know, I like to show it and like to play it. So it's, it's a good uh, cross-section of old and new. Oh, I should have a real 